concept. So people from all over the state were nominated for the work they do in their communities. And the work is something they don't get a paycheck for. They do it out of the kindness of their heart. We are a better state and we're better people because of volunteers. And the volunteers, they don't do it out of sense of duty. They do it out of a sense of love for people and places. And that's exactly what the Jefferson Awards Foundation does by giving local community members the chance to recognize those giving back and may otherwise go unnoticed. And so it's perhaps not even so much for the award winners as for the rest of us to take time out and say thank you to these people who make a better place for all of us. 31 volunteers from around the state from the 80s down to 8 were nominated for their work. Four finalists showed they're going above and beyond to give back. These days, Cindy King doesn't have much time to herself. Serving others is more important than thinking of myself first. Joan Peters, or Grandma Joan as students call her, spends about 40 hours a week volunteering her time at Indian Paintbrush Elementary. Margaret Appleby's family is part of Lander history. Ask Billy why she does it. And the answer is simple. People. And one thing all the finalists had in common, like any good hearted citizen, they're humble about well, it their feels, service. It feels wonderful, but I get embarrassed. <laughs> I talked to one uh, nominee who said, I didn't want this, I didn't want this, but they did it anyway. They don't expect recognition, but because we want to encourage it, because it's such an amazing thing what they've done, these recognitions uh, provide that. Finalist Margaret Appleby was awarded the winner of the 2015 Jefferson Award for the work she's done um, in and around the community no of Lander. She says her effort. love for volunteering started around World War II, and she's loved it ever since. I like it. One day my husband said, working at the museum. Do you want me to move your bedroll out there? I said, sure, I don't care. <laughs> That's, you know, I, I like doing it. Appleby says being recognized is nice, but she thinks another group of volunteers is the most inspiring. It's nice, but you know what I thought was nice? These young people that you honored here, the little girl that won last year and the little boy today, that's awesome. And they're going to grow up to do what we're doing, but they're starting very, very early and it's just awesome. Now the winner, Margaret Appleby, gets to go to Washington, D.C. to be recognized and compete for the National Jefferson Award. Back to you, Jeff.